The phloem is concerned for transportation of food. Now you know leaves make the food just like in the digestive system food is digested but then it has to be transported to all parts so that it can be burnt to release energy. Similarly, food is produced in the leaf with the help of chloroplast but it cannot remain there. It has to be transported to all parts. How will it be transported? Phloem. Phloem is made of sieve tubes. What is a sieve? A substance or you can say an equipment with holes. You have normal sieve to filter your tea or any other thing. Similarly, there is a sieve tube which means a tube which has cell plates that have holes which are called sieve plates like this. Through this cytoplasm moves from one cell to another and along with that food also moves. After sieve tubes there are companion cells, they are living and they perform the metabolism. Then there is phloem parenchyma, this is also living and lastly bast fiber or the phloem sclerenchyma. This will provide the mechanical support and these are dead cells. So, xylem and phloem together transport material, xylem transports water and phloem transports food. We can have a comparison of xylem and phloem. Xylem, phloem. First transports water and minerals, second transports prepared food, second this is the movement is unidirectional only in one direction. But if that is not possible in case of phloem because food has to reach everywhere even the branches which are above or below to the roots. So, it is in both directions. Then xylem is made up of vessels, tracheids. parenchyma and sclerenchyma. While phloem is made up of sieve tubes, companion cells, parenchyma and sclerenchyma. Most of the phloem cells except fibers are living and most of the xylem cells except the parenchyma are dead. So, this is the entire detail about various type of plant tissue.